him upon white horses, man, pure righteous power, clothed in fine linen, and white and clean. Come on. The verse 15, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nation. You that? Out of his mouth goeth forth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite, he should kill the nations. That's right. This is prophecy. Right. You see? Go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. He's going to rule them with a rod of iron, which is the law. Right. Read. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of almighty power That's of right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right, man. That's why when you read uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, he going to rule them, you see, out of his mouth go up a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. What's well, just that short, read. And he hath on his vesture... No, no, no. Hebrews 4 and 12. Oh, sloppy. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the Salakia, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right, man. Out of his mouth will come forth this word of the most high man. And he's gonna kill the nation. That will smite the nations. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna be saying these laws. People say that we ain't under his law, you gotta follow the most high. He's gonna be saying, he's gonna be sharper than any two edged sword, man. It's the sword that Mashaq al Shai bring. He said, and all the army, navy, and marines, and air force gonna be burned up. Ain't gonna be nothing but just dust and the smell of smoke. Right. Get that in the uh, second Ezra 13 and 9 and 2. Right. So this, uh, this is prophecy. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 9. Because all the armies. Navies and Marines and Air Force will come against him to fight Amashiach, Galvashai, and the angels. This right. was just a real result, man. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came. As he saw the violence of the multitude that came, so far, what have we learned that's going to, where, 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 where the power going to come from us so far? We read in Revelation, where it going to come from? Where it going to come from? We just read it. I'm talking about where it's going to come from when my shot got shot. And what he just read. We just read. The word of the most high. No. Don't, don't, don't lead them on. Huh? They got to know themselves. Huh? Revelation 19 and 15. No, I say I'm asking you questions of what we're going over, so making sure you're getting it. You see, so you gotta hear what's being said. You ain't gotta think hard. You make it up word. You make it up the answer. The answer is what we reading. Uh, you want to read it, please? Yeah. Re the Book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 15. Huh. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right, man. Now, now, read 2 Ezra 13 and 9 again. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 13, verse 9. Right. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword. He neither lifted up his hand nor held sword, Ray. Right? Nor any instrument of war. Nor any instrument of war, Ray. Right? But only I saw that he sit out of his mouth. Stop. You see? Remember he said out of his mouth 
go up a sharp sword that with it he should smite kill the nations so he ain't just look no not, no instrument of war but he's only seen out of his mouth mm -hmm. read as it had been a blast of fire this was coming out of his mouth to kill the nations a blast of fire read and out of his lips out of his lips read a flaming breath a flaming breath read and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests it's all coming from his mouth read uh -huh. and they were all mixed together they were all mixed together what was mixed together the blast of fire mm -hmm. the flaming breath the flaming breath the great tempest great tempest read and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. Yeah, see? All these days we get together. They are already together. <coughs> prepared to fight a Mashiach that was shy the angels. Read? And burned them up, everyone. Some of them he left. Everyone. He said burned them up, everyone. Read? Uh, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude. Innumerable multitude that can't be counted of all that's going to come against him and the angels. Read. Nothing was to be preserved. Nothing was perceived. Salakia. Sal Nothing was to be perceived. Nothing was to be perceived. Read. But only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. That's the end result. Right. For the armies, the navies, the marines, the air force of all nations. Ooh. That's why people with the other nations are going to be cleaving us. Uh, you think they're going to fear the most high then? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you think they're going to fear the most high then? Right. Man. You better understand, you understand, man. This is serious, man. Uh, Go back to uh, Baruch. Uh, Baruch. First chapter. Chapter 1. Verse 17. Verse 17. For we have sinned before our fathers. We have sinned before the Most High. Oh, so I can hear. Yeah. For we have sinned before the Most High. And disobeyed Him. And have not hearkened it unto the voice of the Most High our power. Yeah. See, we ain't listen to the voice of the Most High our power. When we hear the voice of the Most High, you gotta hear His word. You gotta hear the word of the Most High. Who is the Mashiach? The whole shot. Right. So you want to try and find some other way. You know? He's the only way. See? Go ahead. To walk in the commandments that He gave us openly since the day that the Most High brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt. Unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Most High, our power. And we have been ne 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 negligent. And we have been ne ne negligent. Let me blow my nose. <laughs> and we have been, I read, we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. See? We refuse to hear his voice, which is his word. Which is the Mashiach Yahweh Shai through the Spirit. Wherefore the evils cleaved unto us. Ooh. And the curse which the Most High appointed by Moses, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. What they're talking right there. It said, Nevertheless, we have not hearkened. Unto the voice of the Most High, our power, according to all the words of the prophets, whom He sent unto us, that every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart, to serve strange gods, strange idols, and to do evil in the sight of the Most High, our power. That's why He brought these curses upon us. You see, that's the problem. You know, every man follows the imaginations of his own wicked heart. Ain't that what they tell you? Yep. Follow your what? Your heart. Your heart. <laughs> follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your first mind. Follow. That's what? Your mind is your heart. Right. right. So what are they saying? 
To follow, follow your, your heart. Your mind. Follow your heart, right? <laughs> Jeremiah 17 and 9. Cancel that out. Okay. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things But follow your heart <laughs> What does it say? The heart is deceitful above all things So you've been lied to Deceitful above all things so the, the heart is deceitful above all things The heart is your mind You've been deceitful above all things Read And desperately wicked And desperately wicked Desperately wicked That's why you can't follow your heart. You gotta follow the mind that the Most High has given us, the imagination of the mind of the Most High, a little bit of He's given us to follow this word of the Most High <coughs> before it's too late. Look at uh, Baruch 3. And 13. Baruch chapter 3 verse 13 For if thou hast walked in the way of the most high She said if, if we had us oh, If we right. had us walked in the way of the most high Read Thou shouldest have dwelled in peace forever So this is what we got to do now You want this peace forever which is everlasting life All right going to the kingdom, being able to be a part of the kingdom, he say, if we had walked in the way of the Most High, thou should have had dwelt in peace forever. Mm. But now, we want to walk in the imagination of our own mind, our own heart, which is deceitful above all things. Uh. And now we restore. So you understand. Look at verse 24. 